Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. Today we're going to be reading The Most Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. This story is all about making a fantastic snowman, which I'm sure you guys will get to do very soon as it's getting pretty cold out there. Brr! It's also about being kind to your fellow human beings. I think you guys are going to like this one. Let's hop on in, shall we? The most perfect snowman. Drift was the loneliest of snowmen. Made from the first blustery snow of winter, he'd been, bu he'd been built fast and then forgotten. With only two skinny stick arms and a small mouth and eyes made of coal, Drift dreamed of wearing a stylish hat, scarf, and mittens just like the other snowmen. Most of all, he dreamed of having a pointy orange carrot nose. If only I had that, I'd be perfect, he thought. All the other snowmen were much fancier than Drift and would giggle at him with frosty glee. Ha! Nice nose! Snazzy outfit! Love your style! Dressed in their finery, they would have snowy fashion parades, snowball fights, and snowman dances that lasted all night. But Drift was never included. So he spent his days alone, swooshing and sliding through the wintry woods, often stopping in the shadows to watch the others laugh and play. One morning, three bundled up children walked by. What a plain looking snowman, said one little girl. You need a hat. Here, take mine. The hat was blue, fluffy, and toasty warm. It fit perfectly. And you can have my mittens, said the little boy. They were so snuggly. Drift raised his arms in the air and smiled. The last little girl turned to Drift. Why don't you take my scarf? So it, she gave him his scarf. It felt soft and cozy as she placed it around his neck. She looked at him for a moment. Hmm, you're still missing something. And then, reaching into her coat pocket, she pulled out the most pointy orange carrot that Drift had ever seen. She squashed it into place, right in his nose. Now you're the perfect snowman. The other snowmen watched in astonishment. <gasps> All afternoon, Drift played with the children. He had never been so happy. Woo! Looks like they went sledding. But soon, Dark clouds rolled in, and his new friends turned to walk back home. Drift thanked them and waved goodbye. That night, a terrible blizzard began to blow. Icy snowflakes ripped at Drift's new hat and mittens and tossed them into the air. Oh no, Drift gasped. He set out to search for his missing clothes. He looked up into the trees, and down a stream, over hills, and under bushes, but they were gone. Oh well, Drift sighed, at least I still have my beautiful new scarf and nose. And then, through the howling wind, Drift heard a whisper soft voice. I'm lost! Can you help, please? It was a teeny tiny bunny. It looked frightened and shivery cold. The bunny needed a safe place to survive the night. 
but there was no shelter to be found. So Drift took off his scarf and wrapped it gently around the bunny. There, now you'll stay warm. And that's when he heard a faint growl. It was the bunny's tummy. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Drift stared into the frosty night. He knew what he had to do. He reached up, removed his last remaining gift, his beautiful orange carrot nose, and gave his new friend something to eat. And then he became the most perfect snowman of all. A snowman who remembers to be kind to others and clothe those who don't have clothing. This was a very wonderful story. I hope you guys stay warm and have nice cozy coats, just like our friends in this story. I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful, splendid December, and I hope you guys stay warm. It's getting cold out there. Burr! Thanks for joining me for story time today. I had a lot of fun reading with you. Please feel free to check out my other stories on this channel, or if you're looking for some fun activities you can do right from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.